M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just a quick one here on the Yaesu FT7900. Got this coming in soon, so I'll be doing loads of tests on it. It looks like it's got lots of uh, functionality, VHF, UHF, 50 watts VHF. Comes with a nice or DTMF style microphone that you can see there, and that's handy for my all-star node. I can also connect this to my HRI200 box because it has a a six pin connector on the back so i'll be doing lots of tests i'll put a link into the description with this pamphlet you can get these second hand now for about 150 pound maybe a little bit more they actually do have a front separation kit so the head the front head does come off and there's some accessories here so i'm going to check it out keep an eye and there's lots of things i can do the thing i i, I don't know what it is is this auto range transponder system there seems to be a button on the front here well i'm guessing that red button could be that on off button there preset memory channel buttons on the front up to five then you've got tone everything's at the front that you need really tone C, you know, CTTSS, shift, power, all that kind of stuff, scan, VFO memory, write to memory, see the ARTS, it's going to have automatic repeater shift as well, look, megahertz, so faster tuning, it is a single display, but a dual, a dual band radio, but nice, and, you know, nice and easy to use this one, uh, so there you go, so keep an eye out, I'm going to do uh, lots of videos using it, and I'll be setting it up with, let me just show you if I can minimize here, my a HRI 200 box to show you you can use an analog radio and get into the YSX PDN system and I'll show you how with that box uh, that's what the mic looks like it looks like it's an MH48 so yeah standard is it six pin mic I've got this Bluetooth microphone which has a module you see the module there that plugs into the side of the radio and then you talk into the Bluetooth mic and it basically gives the radio Bluetooth. So I thought I may as well test that with it. I hope I don't blow it up. Um, there's the uh, separation kit there. And we'll be, oh, it's, I was gonna say that the radio that's similar to it now is actually the, the new one, it's the FTM 6000. And you can get these for about 240 pound UK. So you get about 100 pound more than I, uh, than I spent. So I only bought this radio for testing and I probably sell it. So thanks for watching my channel. I'll put a link in the description for all your all the files. Not that there's many for this radio. You've got an operating manual there. Accessories are listed, um, and then a description. So quite a basic uh, listing there from Yesu. Features, wide receiver coverage, large LCD display. I do like the way it looks. It looks a lot. It's a lot nicer looking than the. FT600D, that's for definite, and how a radio looks is so important to how you feel when you're using it. NOAA weather, 7800 remote mounting kit, wires, internet linking, so it says here, uh, DTMS signaling capabilities including provision for easy accessory to Yesu wires, I'm guessing that's the, the, what I was talking about, but possibly not, we're going to test it out anyway. Um, I can't see this ATRS thing. I'm sure it's in the manual, we'll do a separate video just looking briefly at the manual. So thanks for watching my channel, and it looks like it's uh, it's going to be a fun radio, and, and it's just an ordinary radio for a change, not a, not a digital one with a hotspot, so maybe some real radio as they say. Bye for now, 7-3, thanks for watching my channel, all the best.